Hi, I'm Steve Cooper of SC Sports Injuries and Rehabilitation. This video is going to aim to teach you how and why to use a foam roller. A foam roller is used to decrease tissue density. What this means is it helps to break down tight areas of tissue in a muscle and allows that muscle to function correctly and stretch properly. So if you imagine a muscle like this, after training or after injury, the muscle, the fibres are all mixed up. Through foam rolling it helps to realign the fibres correctly, allowing the muscles to stretch properly to function properly and it should also help to increase performance. So how long should you roll for? Pre-exercise to warm up and loosen those muscles up, probably about 10 reps per body part. After exercise, probably about 1 to 2 minutes, again per body part. Although if pre or post exercise you find a particularly tight area, a particularly sore area, you can just keep going over that area until you remove that pain. That's what decreasing tissue density is all about. Here you can see foam rolling for the calf. One leg over the other to increase pressure. You can tilt the leg from side to side to hit the different areas of the calf. Make sure you roll all the way from the Achilles up to the knee. Rolling for the hamstrings can be done in two different ways. Two legs at a time, or as you can see with the modification, one leg over the other to increase pressure. Again, remember to tilt the legs from side to side to hit the different areas. To really get into the glutes, it can be helpful to place one leg across the front of the other. Make sure you work around the hip area and also up towards the top of the pelvis. Most people will find tight areas in the glutes, so this can be a good place to spend a lot of time breaking those down and restoring function. This technique works on the IT band. The technique can be a bit tricky, and this exercise gets pretty sore, but it's an important one, especially for runners. Again, you can tilt your leg back and forth to hit the outsides of the quads and the hamstrings. Similar to the hamstrings, rolling the quads can be done in two ways. Two legs together, or one at a time to add emphasis. Again, rotating the legs to hit the different areas of the quads is important. It's much easier to do this when you go one leg at a time. Rolling the adductors or groin muscles is a pretty tricky technique and might take a while to get a hang of. You want to make sure you get all the way down to the knee and as close into the hip as you can. It might be helpful to do it in two parts. Firstly, work down towards the knee and secondly, work up towards the hip. This is the technique for rolling your upper back or thoracic spine. Changing the position of your arms can be really helpful in hitting different muscles. Grabbing across the shoulders allows you to hit the muscles on the inside of your shoulder blades. This technique works the lower back. You can do it lying straight back, or if you roll onto one side you can target more specifically the muscles on that side of the spine. If you struggle with lower back pain due to muscle tightness, this exercise can help relieve it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to be notified when more injury and performance related videos are released.